Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast with me, Rangaroo, and today we are doing a 4v4 on Korea Rocks. So, on Team Run, on Blue Force side, we have PLF El Bubba, Partizan, Buck Turgeson, and the Monkey King, all representing PLF. And on Team 2, we have TATU, Felonil, Rat Stranger, and Ratters X Ratters, representing MOBA. Give me a second, let me just turn on the audio real fast. So down here, apply, and let's speed things up and get things going, Sally. Everyone marking down right now. How are they going to be going? And off we go. So let's see what's being brought out. <laughs> Very heavy uh, ground pusses from PLF. A few helicopters down here. And Yoba. Getting a few more helicopters up here. Z9. Try to shoot down a Cobra. But yeah, mostly ground pusses all around. Because this is long congo, long convoy. Of vehicles just going right through. And he's just moving right on with a bunch of ontosses. Never used to see this many ontosses being used. We've got an HC Abrams as well thrown in there. D Force getting right in. So these US Marines will unload. Yeah, that is the question. Now they're just going to keep on pushing right through and they do on drop. Crazy fight over the past, but it does seem like Cuba will have that secured. But they don't notice this person here from. Is that Monkey King? Yeah, yeah, the Monkey King. Moving in some tanks round the flank. Probably a tank, Julia, from up here. On oh, F15D Eagle, gonna be dropping in its bombs. Bada bing. Bada boom. As <laughs> they getting a TATUM in that bombing run. Damn. Very good kill, yeah? I didn't know thousands of pounders could kill a tank that easily. Must have been low in HP. They had TATU, losing his TATUM. And just have a bunch of T64Bs going over the open. See if they can capture Foxtrot. Now down south in the bottom, pretty much a stalemate so far in Bravo. Both sides is capturing the outside of the river. Got an Abrams trying to kill a CSL. That's really about it. Now tank purse. Oh, there's a nice mile and a three right on the flank of him. Get some good side shots in one shot, those buggers. We've got an ATS being used. Hardly seen this being used at all. Rear North Korean tank destroyer. I believe it's North Korean. Oh, SU chasing after, and it does shoot down at Nard. Well, the AMX 10s are going to get right up in the hotel. Very fast uh, cavalry tanks. Make train line. Oh, that's going to be a very nice bombing spot. Gonna get those Mylands. And boom! Perfect bombing run, yeah? I don't think an ATS will be able to make it through. <laughs> There's an auto cannon unit. It's now engaging it. And it does get destroyed. Longbow finishing it up. And the MX 10s and all this tank bus. They're going to go right for the hotel spawn, completely bypassing Juliet. Now you might want to start flanking him his units in India to try and stop these units moving up. He's moving his T-80 Ram and T-64 BVI. 
need to keep his minstrels alive. There's only AA so far in this puss. And he only has like two lap or twos left. I don't think that'd be enough. Bring up a tick or two. Is he ATGM in the fob? No, he does get it out. Oh, I think the Petra one got it. Was that a side shot? Yeah, he must have got a side shot. Very good shot, yeah. Down bottom, get a post of some Jaegers and Fuchs. Got the recorders for rifle infantry, kind of giving them a run for the money. Or make 27k, really get the spot on. Up. And if you want to miss or shoot him down, that is a real question. Nope, you can get out of here scot free. At least he's going to come back for a second pass, which it does seem so. Yeah, he's going to be doing that. Take his chances again. But the mist draws over here. Shoot him down. Now we got a bunch of Leopard 2s. This is very um, AOBS. Seeing 2A4s and 2A1s. You hardly see these tanks being used anymore. More say like the A5 or the Clerk. Or KPC 70 Kila. Not really too much of an A2, A4. Even though the A4 is still a great tank. He's doing everything he can to try and kill his leopards. That one's just almost dead. Q5. Do one more strafing run and dropping its smart bombs. And it does go down. We got more scooting in the forest, and that should be able to RPG these leopard twos. Fat shakers come in, yo. Oh, some cluster RT right into the India forest. That's not going to be nice. And Peter left now just gaining a nice, nice plus two advantage. Pouch Hager's going to finish off the watch. Did he lose his 2A4? I think he just fell back. Yeah, he just pulled it back a bit. If Blue 4 could actually get a CV in the hotel, that would be very beneficial to them. They can neutralise the point, stop stuff spawning in, and get out to plus 3. So you might want to think about bringing up a CV sometime soon. Oh, does seem so. Lynx. But Ferguson bringing up a Lynx with command infantry inside him. Bit of a skirmish with the Fountchagers. And more infant some infantry being brought up now. He's probably just some Jaegers. Yeah, Redfall, maybe a good old bombing run for Redfall just all across this forest here could really help clear us up. Oh, I did like how he did split up all his infantry around the forest. It's a very good idea to always split your infantry in forest areas so they're not a big target for mortars and bombs like now. Make sure nine gonna be dropping in. And bada bing bada boom, I see not getting anything. Just sunning up the Aegis a wee bit. Is this a back and forth fight in the forest? I 
the speed is up a wee bit. And oh, I do have the do have the neutralization on hotel. Make sure nine dropping in another bombing run. Not precisely accurate. And now at plus three, that's gonna be a nice advantage. And then the next step is to try and knock out the CV in hotel, which is all the way over here. It's actually not in cover. So we're on good recon helicopter could probably spot it and knock it out. Yeah. And he's playing constant pressure under hotel. Kinda make our life literally over now. J 7s dropping in some thousand kilograms. And oh perfect bombing runs there, knocking out the main infantry force and the CV. That's going to give him a little bit of time. Got a hind being brought out. Lost on the CV, spotting it with Fern Spurs. Now, if they can bring up another CV really fast and to the point, it will be good to go. Now, doing that. Oh, Baba! Oh, this could be the killing blow if it lands, and it does seem like it will be able to land. And the point is now under control, so now I can start bringing up stuff right behind you. And yeah, it's here to you. Right, he goes. And just capping out is completely demoralized and losing your base sector. But yeah, I guess that's sort of the thing about this map. You can just go for the base sector. You have this run path here. Where you can just bypass up here and bypass down here. So you can just go along this road, rush all the way into the base, and see if you can do your best. There goes the rat stranger. I think this is most likely going to be a GG for PLF. It's a speed us up. Now I want person into Julia, and I'll be finishing up Kilo, and that's all just mopping up the whole map. No, yeah, complete like map domination now from PLF. And they are gonna get a point advantage. Oh right, no, I think the last guy left just in time. Yeah, he did. So that yeah, will be a good game for PLF. Gaining quite a huge KD over Yoba. Damn, that was that was kind of crazy. Just that run push down the middle. It's very unexpected. You wouldn't really expect that to happen. But it just did. So yeah, very good job there yeah, from PLF. And uh, yeah, that's all I really have time for. This has been another Rangaroo cast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.